What's wrong? People won't call me Ellie like he used to. Why, well, hey, Elise. You seem glum. Well, how about finding other people who can get close enough to call you Ellie? You mean, get closer to you and Mila? Yeah, Tipo should too. Really? Hey, it's not like I have lots of friends or anything. But I have enough to know they're pretty priceless. And the best part of friendship is sharing new experiences together. <laughs> Jude sure is a smarty pants! <laughs> well, I am an honor student. I just think it'd be nice if we all got to know each other better. Don't you think so? Yes! Thinking about Noctigal? Maybe this is none of my business, but how did you get mixed up with him? We first met when Noctigal joined the army as an officer. He wanted to serve, despite his royal birth. He and I were assigned to the same division. We fought in many battles together. We earned promotions and glory. That sort of thing builds a bond between men. We were truly brothers in arms. It was a glorious time for both of us. However, Noctigal's growing influence began to threaten the power of his two elder brothers. The older princes ostracized Noctigal, even as they feared him. I know what happened next. The sleepless night we all learned about in history class. That brief civil war erupted when the late king passed away before naming a successor. The six ruling houses and the lesser nobles split into two factions. It was the biggest political upheaval in modern Roshigal history. And it lasted until Noctigal slew his two older brothers with the help of the military. He was a war hero after all. For two days, the people rallied behind Noctigal and his new regime. Noctigal may have won the struggle, but he lost something dear to him. He lost his only ally in the royal family, his beloved sister, Princess Kerry. It hit Noctigal hard. He was overcome with grief. They didn't teach us that part. He expanded his totalitarian control once he became king, and there was no one left to check his power. Not even you? Many pinned their hopes on me to act as a moderating influence on the king. I chose to leave the army instead. It has been a difficult decision to live with. You shouldn't blame yourself. It's not even really Noctigal's fault. His brothers caused all this. I agree. Which is precisely why I failed to recognize when Noctigal began to stray from the just path. We turned our eyes away from our duty. He and I both, despite knowing that doing so would cause many of our people to suffer. In contrast, the King of Arjul has never wavered from doing what must be done. You may be right. Despite both being kings, Noctigal and Gaius definitely left different impressions on me. The people no doubt see King Gaius as a superb ruler. He kind of reminded me of Mila, to be honest. An astute observation. They do share two things in common. The will to do what must be done, and the conviction to do it for the sake of others. It sounds like they go hand in hand. Yes. I believe all truly strong people possess those two virtues. But Noctigal's convictions became warped, and I lack the will to stop him. 
if... and I'm not saying you will. But if you decide not to fight Noctigal, I wouldn't blame you. Thank you. Would you mind leaving me with my thoughts? I will make my decision before it is time for us to leave. we'd end up back here again. It seems like forever ago that you were injured. Have you figured out your mission? What you must do? I... I just want to help you out. I see. But that's not all. I want to protect the spirits as well. You go to such lengths to protect humans. So it's only fair that I become strong enough to protect spirits too. Hmm. You will strive to be our protector. A bold statement. Maybe I've been wrong about humans after all. Hmm? I never imagined one of you wanting to protect our kind, let alone making it his mission. I'm almost speechless. I've never felt this happy. Now I really must destroy the Lance of Kresnik, for all our sakes. That reminds me, what are you planning on doing after you've destroyed the Lance? Destroying the Lance and the Spyrex devices is merely one facet of my mission here. My whole reason for existing hasn't changed. So you'll return to Nia Kara and live the way you did before? <laughs> 